What's going on guys? Play by Play Gaming here back with another episode of the video and today we're taking a look at the baby account that we just started up here in Epic 7. So as you can see, Play X Play, this is not my normal account. We said, you know what? We're going to go full Banshee Gamer on this account. And uh, we decided to start because right now is actually the best start that you could possibly get okay no, no, it is a really really good start though so you're getting selectors right now for rgb i have yet to use mine so uh we still have time to use the five star selector so if you're just starting the game uh you know all you have to do is log in and you get to choose uh pretty much uh any five star covenant hero except for a few units uh, that you can see there. But uh, you have a large list that you can pretty much choose from. Along with that, you have the new uh, changes that they did to the selective summon. So after uh, you start the game, you actually can roll 30 times. You can do 30 10 pools and, uh, and pretty much choose who you want. Uh, I would say that's probably gonna be the best way that you can uh, really get the upper hand when starting off. Uh, there are a lot of great units that you can choose from now, but uh, as I mentioned, we're going full Banshee for this one. So we went with our girl forehead. So we went with the forehead because, uh, you know, I, I Charlotte is one of my favorite units on my main account, you know, I built like, okay, so we started on speed on my main account. Like I said, this account, we're gonna focus solely on bruiser units. Uh, and we're gonna try to make units that are not bruisers into bruisers. We'll see, we're gonna see how that works. Uh, but we're starting off with Charlotte just because she's in a really great spot right now. She does so much damage and uh, she's fairly easy to build you just build her with a lot of crit damage and attack when you're first starting off and that's really all you need later on you can start building bulk uh you know i i don't want to show you their stats because uh, i'm only rank 35 okay i'm only rank 35 so just kind of bear with me here but uh you know we're making some progress this account's only three days old so i won't really show you their stats but as you can see you know with charlotte you just build her full crit damage and you just uh and you just go and you just go and she deals tons of damage. Uh, as you can see, I, I have her on an off uh, immunity because you really want that immunity on her just so that she can AOE with the first turn because the way that she works is that anytime that she has buffs, uh, she hits you with an AOE attack on the S1, uh, which is really great for clearing big waves. Um, you know, I'll, I'll show you all of my units right now. We haven't had the best luck. So as I mentioned, you know, right now it's a really great time to start because you get that selector, that RGB selector. And then on top of that, they're still doing the 70 free summons. So you get 10 free Covenant summons a day. So there's another chance for you to pull something really, really good. Uh, and on top of that, you have your free Moonlight 5 hero that you can pull uh, from that Moonlight selector. Uh, right now we have, uh, we chose Spectre Nibir, but let's talk about the units uh, that we do have. So they give you right out the gate, Free Spiritera, which is amazing. Uh, another unit that when she first came out, I really, really liked, uh, but uh, I never got a chance to use her. And I never got a chance to use her because I already had Arbiter Vildred, which is my farmer. And she's been an amazing farmer so far. Such a great anima animation. Uh, S2 clears a wave goes straight to cooldown so you can continue clearing units uh continue clearing the waves she's just been great right now we have her on a speed set uh speed crit this is one of the free sets that they give you uh you know she's only level 50 right now but she is fully skill enhanced because that's how they give her to you uh they give you pretty much enough materials to get her at least to level 50 i believe or at least like level 40. Uh, they give you the artifact, which is also a great free artifact. So it's pretty much a plus 15 unit. You just got to level her up for free when you start the game. So on top of that, we do have Charlotte. As I mentioned, she is going to be my main unit for this account. Uh, we're going to be farming Banshee. So eventually we'll get her either on lifesteal or on a better destruction set. 
ideally lifesteal because you want her to heal up uh, just a bit. Uh, Spectre Tenebria here. You know what? I couldn't decide. I was thinking either going with Spectre Tenebria or Ruel for this account just because it's going to be a soul bruiser account. Uh, so we're going to play turn two, even though we play turn two on our main, not like we're cleavers or anything like that. But we're going to go full uh, degen mode and, uh, and you know, ideally build her on uh, on life still set, right? That's that's ideal. Maybe even counter. I don't know. Who's, who knows? We'll see. Uh, she is on just the whatever gear I have right now. I just unlock this attack set. So after you log in for three days, you get a free level 75 attack set. Uh, it's been, uh, it's the rolls haven't been great. So it hasn't been great. Uh, this one, we got some decent crit chance here. Uh, and you know, we're, we're moving along. Uh, we're trying to clear abyss. Uh, you know, for three days, I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, moving on here, we do have Clurry. We're working on her specialty change right now. Uh, we were lucky enough to pull Arius, uh, so we got some damage mitigation. Uh, and as I mentioned, we're going to be focusing on Banshee. I've already said it like 50 million times, so we need grass units. And uh, I don't have enough of those. I don't have enough, but I think we can get by. Uh, we've made it up until I think Banshee 7, 6 or 7. Uh, with just the units that we have. So uh, just so that you can see, you can make it up pretty high. But I think Spec 10 a Falconer Clurry, we do have our green lots and then potentially taking an RGB green, green star, green unit. I think that's gonna be the play. Probably Ray, uh, someone that can heal uh, right away in Banshee. It's gonna make the runs a bit easier for me, uh, but I don't know, we'll, we'll wait and see. Domino. Domino is one of those units that, uh, you know, I've always wanted to play with and never got a chance to, but uh, we were lucky enough when we pulled her, I think, on one of the uh, 10 daily pools. So we've only done 30 so far. Haven't really gotten too much, uh, you know, but we're hoping for more shines. You know, maybe we'll get some more shines later on. Uh, she's a pretty cool unit. Uh, she did get some buffs slash nurse recently. I think she's going to help a lot in regular arena because when uh, your team gets crit, she puts up barrier and reflect. So everyone else that goes, if you can survive, all that damage gets reflected back on them. Uh, we're gonna see how that goes. We got green lots here. He's our main healer for now until we can either uh, decide on picking Ray from the RGB selector or maybe building our, uh, our Montmorency and then skill changing her to Angelic Montmorency. Uh, but he does okay. He did, he's great for the CR2, for the CR2, for the CR2. Push. I don't know. Can't talk today. Uh, he has a 30% CR push uh, on the S2, which is great. It's on a two-turn two cooldown, so uh, he does well in arena. Uh, we got Carrot. We started working on Carrot. We do have her at level uh, 40, I believe. Here, uh, we don't. As you can see, she is missing some gear, but uh, eventually we will build Carrot because we are free to play, so we can't get every single uh, amazing unit. But I would love to eventually put her on a set i think that'd be pretty interesting uh we did pick up lorena raz we're not using right now because we can't specialty change him until episode two uh we got kawazu fire kawazu fire ricky here uh but i don't think we're really going to use him we do have curious so it's going to make abyss easier for us eventually we'll get daydream joker as i mentioned we got momo here uh and then everyone else is just kind of filler uh you know mercedes did get some buffs since uh, she first came out. Uh, I think after she gets a kill, she goes again, something like that. I think you have to awaken this, uh, but you know, I think she's definitely viable now. If we weren't going straight for Banshee, you know, maybe I would build more fire units at the beginning, but I really need grass units. I really need grass units to start off. Uh, we do have Helen, uh, which I think could be pretty interesting as a tank. Uh, everyone else here is just three stars. So we're really hoping that, uh, you know, we can pull something decent from those 70 free pulls. But in case we don't, uh, just know that uh, when you're starting the game right now, you can not only get one five star from the selective summon, not two star, uh, not two five star units uh, because of the selector. Uh, but let's check out the login rewards uh, for uh, the current banners uh so let's check the check-in rewards uh so you got a four to five star of course after day 21 that's great uh but right now we have the 
Ezera Foundation Day check-in event. So that's why I mentioned this is a great time to start Epic 7 uh, because on day number seven, you get a free five-star hero. So that's three five-star heroes that you get just from starting the game and logging in for seven days. As I mentioned, we're in day three. Uh, so we're getting, uh, you know, a couple of things here and there. Eventually, we're going to get 500 Mystics. Uh, so, uh, you know, maybe we'll, we'll try to pull for uh, AOL. I don't know if we're going to get her, uh, but hey, you never know. It's 500 Mystics. It's a 10 pull, so we'll see. Uh, but we got a five star guaranteed here. Uh, and it's going to be it from episode two. So we're actually going to wait for uh, until we get the seven day mark. Uh, I think that we do have to pull our... Uh, what is it called? Our five star selector before the seven days, which is kind of unfortunate, but uh, I'm just hoping I don't get a dupe unit. So we'll see how that goes. But on top of that, that's three five star units, right? On top of that, the new player check in event is also giving you a five star episode one unit and a five star artifact ticket. Uh, so you're, you get, it's a random unit and it's a random artifact. Uh, but they're free and that's a total of four five stars that you're getting uh, just by logging in for seven days pretty much so you get one from the selective one from the rgb selector one from the azera foundation day and then another one from the new player check -in, which i think is pretty insane you're starting off with four five star units and not only that but as you can see, I have Spectre Nebra. I didn't pull her from the summons. I got her from the Moonlight's Blessing. Okay, calm down. My luck hasn't been that great uh, for this account. So uh, we're working on her. However, uh, you do get a chance to test out whatever unit you want to go with. Uh, I'm going with Spectre Nebra. As I mentioned, I was I, I was really thinking, you know, going with Ruel, maybe building her on like a D-Gen build, like a counter Ruel, counter resist or something like that. I don't know. Uh, but... Uh, I, I, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I think if I end up picking Ray, which more likely I will, um, you know, I'm going to need some damage dealers. I'm going to need some damage dealers. And uh, I think Spectre Nibria, you know, just in Abyss PvE, PvP, she is just insane. Uh, and just a really great pickup. Uh, if you don't have Arby, Arbiter Bildred, he's also a great pickup. But, you know, I kind of want to go with Spectre Tenebria. You know, that's, that's what I want to try with. Uh, my Sanctuary right now, after three days of playing, rank 35 here, uh, you know, we started focusing on the Forest of Souls uh, just so that we can get as many uh, penguins or as many doggos as possible because when you're first starting off, one of the most difficult things to do is to 5-star and 6-star a unit. So uh, we're trying to get as many doggos as we can, farming regular adventure. We got the 3 and the 2 on these. So we're decreasing the time and the amount. Uh, I, I think I don't really care about this one because we're not going to farm the penguins from this. Uh, I think the better use of your stigma is going to be farming the doggo. So you can just auto complete the doggos there and then uh, allow you to progress your units uh, to a higher star level. Uh, we do have uh, one of these Breath of Orbis in each of these in this high command. Uh, eventually we'll get some more so that we can use um, because we want to run the hunts and the war missions these two are the most important uh, just because you want these coins the ancient coins because you're going to use the ancient coins uh, to buy uh, equipment charms from the shop so as i mentioned i i'm completely free to play on this account as well as in my main account so i haven't bought anything here uh, but there is uh, one uh, i guess not necessarily secret, but awesome thing about, I guess, also starting off here is that you get bonuses for ranking up from this rank up pack number one. As you can see, I've already claimed up until rank 30. I need a rank 35 and 40, which I'm holding off on because we're getting a buff event soon. And so I'm going to drop the EXP on top of the EXP boost that we get. And we also get an EXP boost for 13 days, I believe, if you're a brand new player. And I'll show you that here in a bit. But the conquest points and ancient coins, you're gonna wanna you're you're gonna wanna farm those from the high command because you're gonna need these charms. And you're gonna need these charms to upgrade your equipment when you're first starting off until you can start farming hunts and uh, side stories and things like that. Uh, conquest points 
are extremely important because you're gonna want to buy the arena gear. Now, you're, you're not gonna go straight for the arena gear that's there right now. Uh, what I'm gonna do is actually go for the, um, I'm thinking the immunity gear first, uh, which I think is this one, which is 20% off. I'm gonna go with the neck and potentially the ring or the boots, just because there's speed. So the boots are speed, no matter how they roll, I'm gonna use them and the neck is crit damage. So I'm thinking of putting these two on Charlotte. However they roll, we can always gem out, you know, whatever we don't like, as long as they don't go affect res, you know, we should be okay. If not, we'll put them on someone else, right? We'll put them on someone else. Uh, and then we should be good to go. After that, I'll probably work on uh, the speed set. So the speed set is going to be actually really, really good here. Uh, so it's 50% off. So it's actually going to be the cheapest. So um, the reason that I'm going for immunity is, again, uh, we really need immunity on our Charlotte if we want her to go with the AOE S1 first. Otherwise, uh, she just doesn't do any damage. So. Uh, we want to pick up the speed set because this speed set can roll actually really, really well. I think all of the stats on uh, on these pieces, except for Efrez, unless you go with this helmet, like this helmet right here is perfect for a Soul Weaver. Someone that's going to provide support, support because you got health, defense, speed, and effect res. Uh, the necklace can potentially be good if you roll all speed, effect resistance, or effectiveness, maybe... Uh, the, the ring. Okay, so this ring is one of the best rings that you can get for free in the game. Just because it's speed and effectiveness. And so you also have a speed substat with your effectiveness. And you're going to really want to hopefully get lucky and roll the speed. You want as high speed as you can because this ring is going to serve you for a very long time. And you're going to want to use this ring on any kind of debuffer. Uh, you throw speed set on them. Ideally, you would farm a wyvern. Uh, but since I'm not going to be farming wyvern on this account, uh, then, you know, getting a free speed set is also really, really nice. Uh, you know, we are right now, again, rank 35. Uh, you know, we're, we're trying our best. Uh, you know, another thing that I mentioned is you do get buffs. Uh, as you can see here, I have 11 days left of these battle EXP buffs, gold earned, and plus 100% conquest points. Uh, so when you do start the game, they give you a huge boost. Uh, you know, when I first started, I didn't get any of this, so it took me forever. So um, we are actually able to get some of our units up, I guess, a little bit higher. And then now that we finally unlock the pet, uh, we, we only have two pets. Uh, they give you one for free. And uh, and then that's it. So they give you the battle pet for free. And then after that, it's just daily login pets. Uh, so we do have uh, two pets here so far. Uh, but I think that, uh, you know, eventually we'll fix the pets. Those aren't important. All you want the pet for uh, at first is the auto battles. And so we're going to go into that. So you can see my other little doggo there. Uh, Potato Yoki. Uh, he is uh, additional random catalyst, so because we are farming side story, and then we can even throw him in hunts uh, because we did get lucky and get that uh, piece of equipment hunt, that little extra bonus there. But, you know, of course, ideally, eventually we'll get better SSS pets. For now, uh, this will do uh, just because we want to be able to set it and forget the, uh, the 15 runs. Uh, but we were able to clear 10-10 on day one, I believe. It was actually pretty easy. Uh, let's go in and check to see what we got so far. So we cleared episode one. Uh, we were able to uh, clear that. Uh, you know, we haven't gotten all the stars yet or anything like that. Uh, you know, that's a work in progress. But, uh, you know, the main thing is clearing 10-10 uh, so you can get you know, all, of the, uh, all of the rewards that you get from 10-10 as, as well as a gold transmit stone. So you get gold transmit stones from clearing 1010. We're working on episode one unrecorded history right now. Uh, we've only cleared, I think, um, like the first chapter of episode two, I believe. Uh, and so here's a little trick. So after you clear episode one, don't jump into episode two straight away. Just because once you start farming unrecorded history, 
uh, you do get these urgent missions. And so once you get urgent missions, uh, they actually pop up at, in the hardest difficulty stage. So if you already started farming uh, episode two and maybe you can't progress, maybe you're stuck uh, and you start farming somewhere else, all of your urgent missions are gonna show up in the in episode two. So just kind of keep that in mind. That's why I've held off from clearing episode two, um, you know, more than chapter one, just because I want to make things easy because it, things are difficult when you are starting off, especially because of the gear, right? Especially because of the gear. But uh, I mean, I don't have uh, too much as far as like AP points or anything like that. Uh, you know, you really wanna stick to, uh, trying to build at least one unit when you're starting off. And so right now we're focusing on Charlotte. So uh, I'm really trying to uh, to focus on her catalyst. Uh, as you can see, I have some awakenings on her. We do have a buff event. So what I'll probably do is, uh, is awaken her up until this awakening here. Uh, because as you can see, I only have nine of these ultra fangs and it's gonna take a lot to get uh, at least nine more right nine to get the 18 so we have a few extra and then this epic catalyst forget about that so when you're first playing the game you just want to focus on getting the awakening up to at least the fifth awakening and then after that it's just going to be luxury until you have a full squad that is farming completely six stars all that good stuff uh you know you do, do get a lot of things from the uh free login events and things like that uh, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. Uh, and you also need catalysts to give units skill enhancements. And so these skill enhancements are really going to push up either your damage or reduce the cooldown on your skills. Uh, so you really want to think about who you're going to enhance uh, before you actually start investing in units. Because you can't get these Molagora back, which you need. Uh, and then once you use them again, you can't get them back. And they are somewhat rare to get especially if you are free to play. So as you can see, I gave her two molas uh, because we don't need catalyst for the first two. Uh, but after that, we need these twisted fangs, which we do not have. So it's gonna be a while before we get her to plus 15. Maybe we'll start farming for ultra catalysts uh, after we can get the awakening, maybe. Uh, but we can definitely give her a few more mola here and there. Uh, you know, I, I, I wanna give her these mola on these two, but the thing is with her, the way that her S3 works, you need hundred fighting spirit. And that doesn't trigger that often uh, until you have this fully molded out, right? So we're keeping the S1. Uh, eventually we'll get her to friendship level 10 and we'll get three extra molas. So that's gonna be really good. Uh, you know, we might wait until then. And then we have Spectre Nibiru as well that uh, we really want to start building uh, just because she's gonna help push us up in regular arena. I've tried to push in arena, but it's tough. It, it is really tough right now. Uh, if you don't have, so I'm in bronze three. Yes, bronze three. And uh, it, it's tough because uh, you see ML units, you see last rider crowds, you see all this crazy stuff that until I have a decent gear on my units, I probably won't be able to get out of bronze. Uh, I can win fights here and there, but yeah, it's, uh, I'm not really trying to push that fast. Uh, so eventually we'll start farming Banshee. Let's take a look at the hunts here real quick so you can see where I currently am. Uh, so on day three, I am Golem Hunt 7, Banshee Hunt 7, and Azimatic Hunt 7. Um, I haven't farmed Wyvern and I haven't farmed Katie's. Uh, this account will more than likely be th these three, Banshee, Azimatic, and Katie's. Uh, maybe a little bit down the line, uh, but Banshee and Azimatic we hit first. Uh, so I think Hunt Seven is probably. I think we can we can get away with doing Hunt Stage Seven maybe on manual right now. Uh, we are getting some more gear as you saw from that login event. Tomorrow we get a free health set, so we're gonna slap that on uh, probably our lots or maybe our ray that we end up picking up. Uh, and then just kind of start working on uh, moving up in Banshee. Uh, one last thing that I do want to talk about is a labyrinth and the rewards that you get from progressing through the story. So they they get, they included this adventurous path 
uh, you know, and I think this is another great way for brand new players to just push through a lot of the content as quick as possible to start farming hunts, start getting better gear. Uh, and uh, as you can see, I'm, I already finished all of the others. So I finished free spirit tea areas already. I finished the first and the second um, of these little metal things. You can't check to see the, I guess the history of it. I don't think, uh, but I'm on this last one right now. And this one is the achieving adventure. And this one focuses more on episode two. So you gotta do a lot of things in episode two, but as you can see, you get a lot of rewards and uh, you do get a free, I think, attack set. Uh, no, that speed set that you saw in Tiaria, you get that from one of the first, uh, one of the first, I guess, achievement things that you do. Uh, but with this one, uh, you know, we talked about getting four five star units, right? Well, after you complete, uh, you know, up, I think it's like halfway here, uh, you do get a four to five star ticket for free, along with six transmit zones when you complete this which is kind of insane. Uh, you get some more charms there, Molagora, a bunch of good stuff. So here we go, you get a random four to five star ticket or summon ticket, so it's random. Uh, you know, it's probably gonna be a four star, but hey, you never know, it might be a five star. And then you get an instant six star potion. So the six star potion instantly six stars, you know, any unit that you want takes them from whatever star level they are all the way up until six stars uh, and then you don't you only have to awaken them uh, which is really nice uh, and you have to level them so it only puts them up to six stars you still have to level them up to level 60 but it's still not too bad uh, but along with that after you get toward ice element summon so there you go you got another one of those uh, but what we're we looking for here we're looking for this one we got another five star summon ticket so that's a total of five five stars in your account in your account brand new player here uh, along with three molagora so once you finish this out you'll get you'll have at least five five stars and some gold transmit stones so the gold transmit stones you're going to use uh to uh, pretty much summon uh to summon your way to ml5 units uh, and your ml5 units you're going to use those for pvp mainly uh, unless you uh, decide to get extremely lucky and uh, pull some uh, some PvP and PvE uh, Moonlight 5 units like uh, Arbiter Builder, he's good pretty much everywhere. Spectre Neighbor is pretty much good everywhere. But as you can see, uh, we have, I think, uh, what, three pools? Uh, no, we got two pools, I think, because it's, what, five? Let's see. I don't even remember anymore. Okay, so no, 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 it's, it, we, we got two pools. Uh, so we can buy two of these uh, five galaxy bookmarks uh, and then we'll be able to do two summits uh, on that. But uh, we're going to hold off on these. We're going to kind of save up a little bit until uh, until we have a decent uh, gear pool, uh, because, you know, if we pull new units, we want to be able to use it. So uh, we still got a long ways to go as far as getting these transmit stones uh, and, you know, starting our farm up. But uh, I did want to talk about Labyrinth here real quick, and then I guess I'll touch on Abyss just so we can see where we are right now. Uh, so Abyss Floor 30, I can actually push further than Floor 30, but like I mentioned, Buff Event is coming very, very soon, I think within the next two days. So we're going to wait so that all of our buffs stack on top of each other. Right now we got a 40% gold increase to any gold drops that we get. Uh, and then I believe it's, uh, we get another 30% gold um, from the buff event. I think it's like 30 or 40%. So on top of that. So we're gonna get almost 100%, very close to that gold increase when when we complete this. So that's why we're kind of holding off on this, but we get 300 Skystone. Uh, floor 30, I think maybe within the next, um, you know, four or five days, uh, we can push a little bit further. Like I mentioned right now, uh, you know, the gear is the problem. Uh, you know, we have some okay units, uh, but the gear is is what's really holding us back. Uh, not being able to uh, to really enhance the gear that we have uh, and, uh, and you know, kind of push further in arena as well because we need those conquest points. But as you can see here, I've already made it to Nixie Sanctum. Uh, I have yet to start area one. 
uh, but we do want to push all the way to the end of Nixie Sanctum uh, just so that we can unlock that uh, destruction gear set. So uh, the further you push, and we'll check it out here, you get this destruction set. So you get the neck and the ring, which are both amazing. Uh, and you get this destruction set. And so if we don't have a decent lifesteal set for uh, Spectranebria or for Charlotte, you know, we're probably going to throw this on them and, uh, you know, just do work and just do work. So uh, it's going to be a little bit before we do that, though, because uh, this Nixie Sanctum is one of the longest labyrinths that you have. Uh, we've opened up Azimacallus, but I don't think we're ready uh, to do anything in here yet. Like I mentioned, uh, gear is going to be the number one thing because, yes, you are going to be swimming with units uh, if you're starting right now, uh, but uh, you really want to gear them. Uh, you know, this game is mainly uh, about the gear that you have and having decent in gear. Uh, PvE, you can get away with pretty much everything, but for PvP, you do really need specialized gear. But as I mentioned, uh, you know, we're going to be going with, uh, you know, full degen builds on everyone. Uh, you know, eventually uh, we'll, we'll get to Banshee 13. Uh, but for now, I think uh, Banshee number seven will have to do. Uh, you know, I want to see how far we can get. I'll probably make another one of these videos uh, just to, you know, do a little check in. Uh, but uh, let me know if you're a brand new player. You know, how are you liking Epic 7? Uh, you know, who did you choose for your selective summon? You know, like I mentioned with this account, we're doing things a little bit different. The, the general advice is to go into Wyvern first and just farm for speed set. Uh, speed set is going to be the most universal that you can use for everyone, but we're trying something a little bit different. Uh, you know, we want to use counter sets uh, because, uh, you know, we want to have fun. Uh, I was also able to uh, get my guildies to add my baby uh, alt to the guild. So uh, we already got destroyed uh, in our guild, but that's going to be the last thing that I'll talk about here is you definitely want to join a guild uh, because you want to be able to earn mystic. So if you can go in, uh, here's uh, here's the alt, uh, you know, we put in whoever, you know, we got destroyed, we got clobbered, but, uh, you know, we do get mystics. Whether we win or we lose, we get mystics. Uh, here is my main account. Uh, nothing too crazy. Got your just normal, uh, boring uh, teams there. But, uh, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, you know, are you a full Banshee gamer? Did you start off in Banshee? Did you start off in Wyvern? Or did you start off in Gold? Let me know in the comment section below. Like always, if you haven't enjoyed the video, hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, hey, think about subscribing. It really helps the channel grow and reach more people like you who like content like this. Questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section below. Like always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Peace.